Good afternoon, everyone. I'm back, Lucha FM, with the So Show You've Only Say. Um, we didn't have the best of episodes yet, uh, yesterday, which is really annoying compared to the day before. Um, we only won one game, and that was in the Coupe de France match. And then we drew two, and I think we lost three out of the six games that we played. So it was, it was not a good episode at all. I was thinking the new tactic I was using was working a treat. But uh, I, I don't know whether the opposition have found us out or the players are just down tools. I don't know. So I'm hoping this episode is a lot better. We are currently 10th. I don't think we're going to budge from 10th. Um, but never say never. But we'll just have to see how it goes. So um, you'll see me in a second with the first part of the video. Yeah, so as I was saying in the intro, we are currently... 10th in the league. Um, I feel like we're, we're too good for the bottom half of the league, but we're just not good enough for the playoffs yet. So I feel like this is going to be another mid-table season, which is fine because you look at our club vision, finish mid-table. So they're pleased. The supporters uh, want us to basically finish there as well, I think. Become an established league two team, which we're doing. So we're more, they're more than happy with us. So we don't need to worry about that. Um, let's just have a look at how we've done so we didn't do that. We didn't have the best of episodes. So if we just highlight these here, this is what you saw uh, last episode. We lost one nil, two one. We beat um, lost foot forty one in the Coupe de France. Uh, Fibold and Izanga scored. Uh, nice to see our youngsters doing well in that one. And then we drew two two with Troyes, which I was a bit annoyed about because. Um, we FM'd them up until literally the last kick of the game and then they scored. So I think it was probably a fair result. I, I think, to be honest, as I said at the start of the game, um, if we get anything out of this, it'll be a miracle. And we literally we, we were literally FM'ing them. It was hilarious. And then, like I said, um, they managed to get two goals and it become 2-2. And then we lost to a far superior Clermont team. They beat us 2-0. Uh, and then we got a surprise draw against FC Mets. They were winning 3-1. And then Kofi decided to spoil the party for them and get another, he get his hat-trick as well. Kofi's doing really well this season. He's got 10 goals in 17 games. Um, I think this new tactic's working a treat with him in a more familiar role for him as a target forward. So he's doing really well, which will benefit us. Uh, I'm amazed he hasn't been called up to the Ivory Coast team yet, probably because of the division that we're in. I think he'd be playing for a top French team. Would have got called up by now. Hopefully, one day, if he's still with us, he'll get uh, called up to the Ivory Coast team. So the fixtures that we're going to be playing in this episode is Grenoble in the Coupe de France, um, and then we're playing Paris FC, Going Gamp, and then we got Grenoble again, Nîmes, and also uh, obviously if we if we do end up going through the uh, beating Grenoble in the Coupe de France. We'll probably have a, another Coupe de France game in between these as well. Um, and like I said, I've rotated the team a bit so some of the youngsters are playing. Uh, Arigi's playing, Samasa's playing, Matthews is playing, um, Pinto's playing, Fibold and Fit. Uh, oh, that's going to be interesting midfield. Uh, is it, how do you pronounce that? Fibold? I think it's Fibold. Fibold and Thierry. In midfield, Thierry's just such a classy midfielder and, and, and Fibold's really good as well. Patricio, I'm there with Pinto on the fullback side and then Izanga and Dida on the wings and Vaz up front. So exciting to see some of these young prospects get another game. There we go. First highlight is goal kick for us. Headed back. Uh, Mustafi. Is Samasa. Samasa boots it over. Uh, Pinto loses it, unfortunately. So it's uh, now Grenoble's. Let's hope they don't punish us with that lack of uh, lack of concentration by our players. Uh oh, that's offside though, surely. No, oh okay. Good goal by them. One nil to Grenoble. I'm just going to try encouraging the players. I don't want to shout at them really because all the they're only young, bless them. A lot of them are only 17. God, feels like a lifetime ago when I was 17. I turned 40 in about a month's time. Not looking forward to it. Ooh. 
No, I don't mind it. I'm not that bothered. Um, my dad has like an inter- eternal fear of getting older. And I think he's given me that to a point, but I try not to let it get to me too much because I know it ends up ruining it for everyone else who wants to celebrate your birthday. Uh, um, probably going to go away for a day trip for my birthday with my girlfriend and Baxter, our little, our lovely little dog. Uh, probably going to go to the seaside, uh, maybe in North Wales or uh, excuse me, uh, North Wales or probably somewhere like Blackpool, maybe. Just for a day out in the beach, and it'll be nice to see what how Baxter is because he's never been to the beach before. He might really like it. But yeah. Anyway, we're two 0 down. Not the best of games for our youngsters. I don't. I'm hoping that it doesn't um, ruin their morale too much losing this game. You never know. We might turn it around at some point. Maybe not. Oh, that was a great goal, that was. I mean, I mean, I hate the fact that they've scored another goal, but let's just have a look at that goal. Um, he just blasted it first first thing and just scored. Uh, why can't one of our players do that? We scored some good goals last game. We, scored, uh, we had two players score beautiful little chips over the goalkeeper. But this is not the game we're going to... We're not going to win this game. Uh, losing 3 0. Think so. Straight in the goalkeeper's Oh, for God's sake, I forgot to. I swear I changed it back to director. Why didn't it work? Oh well. Right. This could be another highlight for Grenoble. Could be another goal because they're just picking us apart at this point. Poor Rigi. I bet he doesn't want to. Oh my God, that was nearly a catastrophe there by Mustafi. He scored a weirdo goal last uh, last episode with uh, Fatah. Oh, no, not, not last episode, the episode. Before. No, it was last episode, yeah. Focus, there we go. Let's see if that'll work. We know with the ball again. This is such a one sided game. This might as well be a training match at this point. Just toying with us here. Look at that. That's another good goal. I'm not replaying that though because it will upset me. I'm going to try to fire up. As soon as I get a chance, I'm going to try to fire up the players. Not that it's going to make any difference. It's 4 0 down with 20 minutes to go, but it'll make me feel better that I tried. I mean, in hindsight, maybe I should have just played my senior players and we might have had a better chance, but I want to try and give the youngsters as much game time as possible. We've uh, nearly matched them on XG. They've just been better at burying their chances. Poor Origi's just had a terrible game. I don't know whether I don't know whether a better goalkeeper would have saved some of them shots. Maybe they were really good goals, to be honest. I don't want to get too downhearted with him, but another corner to them. Will they get another goal before the end? Great save by Origi. Good to see that he's redeemed himself there. Good tackle. Bit bit, bit careless though in hindsight because it could have led to a penalty to them, but luckily he managed to time it just right with the tackle. Right, 4-0. There you go. Uh, Diagne, Samasa and Matthews in defence, Galvez, uh, De Silva and Tybold in the field, Bossy on the left, Fatah and Adejo on the wings and Vaz up front and we just got thrashed in the last game so the morale might not be the best but we'll see. He scored though from the first highlight. Dead game, finally a highlight. Hopefully we can score from this highlight. I don't mind taking a really rubbish game 1-0 win. Ah, oh, nearly. Right, we've got a corner there. Hopefully this corner will lead to a goal. Come on, Patar, taking your time there. Headed over. This has been a really boring game. Oh well, Linton, that won't take you long. Linton's my editor, by the way, in case anybody was wondering who I was on about. Uh, there you go.
Right. You know the score. I'm back in a sec. So now we're playing uh, Guingamp. There is probably, it's probably not how you pronounce that name, but yeah, Guingamp, I'm going to call him. And um, Yagni's not 100%, but he starts. Uh, and I think that's pretty much the same team as last game. Um, it's nice to see this new tactic works well with the players that we've got. Like Bastion, it seems to be his best role there, and Kofi and Pazard and Batar. So it's really good that we're playing to strength. We could do with a decent youth meet and take eventually with some good central defenders. We are lacking in there, and uh, uh, Tybal will get better. So this role at the moment he's in. Actually, what is his best role? Oh no, it's going to be another one of these boring games again. I'm going to title this the most boring ever uh, episode of Football Match. <laughs> Because that'll get the uh, that'll get the viewers in. <laughs> and watch the most boring episode of Football Manager. It will put you to sleep. My voice is quite relaxing. I've been told my voice is quite relaxing anyway, and it does make people feel a little bit sleepy. So, um, if you're uh, an insomniac, I'm the man for you. I will put you to sleep with my my sultry voice. Right, we've got an injury already. Why is Beck playing in defensive midfield? That's not going to work, is it? We're not going with the defensive midfielders. We haven't. Uh, can't have him in a defensive midfield position. He just doesn't play there. Right there. Is that any better? That's better. Three on target. There we go. Finally a highlight. It only took 68 bloody minutes. Uh... Take him off, sorry. Hope he needs to come off. Right, first highlight looks like it's going to go and jump. They luckily miss. This is going to be another nil nil, this is. Right, can we get a 1 nil win here? Can we get, come on, let's get a win. Bastion with an over the top cross. Goes nowhere. Galvez picks it up though, gives it to Weisbeck. Weisbeck with a beautiful ball. That was a great goal. That better be allowed. Nice to see Vaz score, get his confidence up. Great little assist by Weisbeck. Weisbeck will probably get injured by tomorrow now. He does like to spend a lot of time on the physio table. Oh, we've got another highlight. Bazard. Taking his sweet time here. What are you doing? Just, just hurry up. Takes the free kick. Crosses it in. Wise back with the oh there we go Bastion second goal of the season. This went from being a nil nil to a two nil. Uh, not too bad. I mean, you look at the XG. There should have been more highlights in this game, but it wasn't. But anyway, we win. We win. Thank God for that. Get to keep our tenth place finish for now. Right, here we are, and we've got Grenoble again. Let's hope we can get our revenge on them. We're playing our strongest team in this game, so let's see how we get on. We are a bit weak in centre defence. We've got Mathias um, Samasa in centre defence with Diagne. Um, I think this is what's going to happen most now. I don't know who else have we got. Let's have a look. Let's have a quick look. Uh, yeah, Grillot's on a, um, uh, he can't play because he's not registered, but he was out on loan. Actually, yeah, it's usually bossy. And De Silva, sorry, bloody hiccups. So it's usually these two, but for some reason they're not playing today. Uh, there must be a reason. Um, but, right, let's see how we get on. Um, actually, no, what am I about? For some reason, I thought, I th oh yeah, Grenoble were in the, the, the division we started in, Championship National, that's it, yeah. So he has been haunting us, he's been following us up the leagues. He always scores. Watch, he'll probably score in this game as well. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much predicting it now. Even if we win, Jamal, the one thing you can guarantee is Jamal Lowe will score against us. But Grenoble have got a good record against us, annoyingly. And I wouldn't even say they're a better team. They just seem to do better against us. There you go. <laughs> Jamal Lowe, I've flipping told you. Ugh. Le the French lower divisions, Lewandowski is. But I'm staying confident. I know we haven't done much this first half so far, but 
feel like we will get better as the game goes on. And then I flip in. Right, I need to make sure he is getting um, man mark because I'll be really annoyed if we're not man marking him. Yeah. Disallowed, thank God that's disallowed. Our defence is letting us down, but in their defence, they're not they're a bit too young to be playing in these games. So the pressure might be getting to them a bit. Oh expecting that to go in there. They've got a corner. Let's see if we can get this out and counter attack from it. Uh no. Right, goal kick, let's go. Uh, five old we can't take off. Take off the Agni. Yep. Okay. Right, let's see if we can get back in this game now. A draw would be do us nicely. Bastion gets tackled, but gets the ball back. Penalty, I think. We're just gonna go and have a look at the VAR. VAR screen. Usually this tends to go in our favour. But probably won't now. Now I've said that. Where's he pointing? Ugh, oh, you little scallywag. Yeah, there's false hope there. Right, let's try firing up the players. Let's go very attacking. Um, let's see if this will do anything. These further forward. Do that. Let's see what happens now. Another highlight to us, so hopefully this has made a difference. Maybe not. Oh, there you go. Five ball. Pete with the ball, cross to Bastion. Bastion bombs up the left wing, crosses it in. Keeper has it, throws it, goes unfortunately to, well, fortunately to us at our player. Five ball with a beautiful pass, unfortunately, Baz does not connect to it. Baz needs to work on his timing better, I think. Oh, I thought that was in there. It was so good of a shot, nearly broke the screen. For this, we are fighting here. We are taking the ball off in the weird. Oh, no, famous last words. Uh oh. Oh, uh, that's that then, everyone. Gave us a little bit of hope at the end. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to be a mid table team this season. Uh, right, crosses it in. We get a consolation goal. No, we can't. They're going to get another one here. Lowe's probably going to score as well. He's going to pop past all of our players here. Oh, it's the post. Luckily, we get it out. Got some very tired players here. Right, I'm going to rest a few players for the next game. I'm just going to have a look, see who's knackered. Right, should we change it back to the original tactic? Change it to this one again, back to the original one. We'll see how we get on next game with that. Hello. So, like an idiot, um, for some reason it didn't record anything. I, I, I thought I pressed record, but I didn't. Um, we won this game. It was a hell of a game to watch. Oh, I'm just so annoyed now that you didn't get to see this game. Uh, anyway, here's the, here's the goals. I wish I could play the whole match again because it was quite stressful, but anyway. So we started the game with a goal by Baz. Um, chipped it over the goalkeeper, dinked it over the goalkeeper. They equalised with a set piece uh, from the corner, headed it in. We then get the lead again through Patricio who crosses it into Kofi. Uh, and then Ollie headers it in for the, no, oh, crosses it in, sorry. So they equalize. Uh, we then get this goal here. Lovely cross by Weisbeck, by the way. Gives it to Kofi. Kofi knows what he's doing when that ball hits his head. 
and he gets the goal there. And then Nims uh, end up getting in, back into the game. So I think that's 3-3 free, free at that point. Then here you go. So they get their fourth goal here. So they go from losing uh, to winning. And I'm like, oh, great. And then in the 90th, 90th minute, Isanga passes it to De Silva. De Silva gives it to Akra. Akra just blasts it in. So I'm ecstatic at that point. 4-4. Four, four. And I think... And I say in the commentary, I say, I wonder if we can get a winner now. It wouldn't be great if we can win this game 5-4. And then Bossy just blasts it in like that. Absolute amazing goal. I'm so annoyed that I didn't record this because I was so happy watching this game. I was stressed out and then happy at the same time. It was really, really funny. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm sorry, everybody. We're currently 10th. We're three points ahead of Goingham, uh, but we're five points behind Kane, and we are currently 12 points behind the playoffs. So I'm not saying mathematically we've still got a chance, but like realistically, it ain't going to happen. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11 games. So there's potentially 33 points to be had here, which would basically win us the title. No, bro. Um, basically, we could get us into the playoffs, but we've got to win every game. It ain't going to happen. So, yeah, Orcs are now. So, let's just see how we get on. But, yeah, corner to us. Wise back with the corner. Has another chance with the uh, cross. Pass it into the box. Gets defended nicely. Orcs' kit makes me uh, r makes me think of the, the Spurs kit from, I think it was like, was it the, when, when Ari Redknapp was in charge with the purpley bit at the front it just makes it just makes me think of like Spurs when they had Berbatov and Keane and Defoe and Bent as their striker options um Harry Redknapp was a miracle worker with that team I think good goal for Tar get in 1-0 6 minutes gone already winning that's a good sign Just got to set ourselves little targets every couple of games and hope for the best. If we can go on a hell of a run where we win literally every game now, we might actually sneak into the playoffs, but I'll get my hopes up and they always get dashed, so we're just going to assume that we're just going to be mid-table this season. Oh! I don't know what happened there. I think it was a header or something. 2-0. Fatah's on fire. Right, Fatah with the corner. Right, they've got a highlight to them. So they get, oh no, that's good. So yeah, by the looks of it, we're winning this 2-0. Nicely, nicely done. At least it's a decent way to end the episode. So we start the episode as 10, we finish the episode as 10. I feel like this is an episode of not much has happened. Like I said, we are currently 10th. 33 points, 24 games played, won 9, drawn 6, lost 9. So that just tells you everything you need to know. Very, been a very meh season so far. We are currently 12 points behind the playoffs. So even with us winning, we've still got a big gap to get ahead of us. So let's have a look at the let's have a look at games we've played this episode. Um, so yeah, so let's just do a little catch up on here. So we lost 4-0 to Grenoble in the French Cup. Um, we drew P with PSFC, we drew 0-0. Beat Gouengamp 2 0. We lost 2 0 to Grenoble, and then we've gone on a nice little winning streak of two wins. Uh, 5 4, great little win against Nims. Oh, we did beat Nims. What am I on about? You know, when I said uh, a second ago we beat Nims, would have been ahead of them. Uh, ignore that. I'm an idiot. Um, and then, yeah, also 2 0. So the next fixtures we've got, the next episode to look forward to is um, we've got Poix, Orleans, Rodez. Angus, Ajaso, and FC and uh, Anesty. Um, four out of them six games are definitely winnable for us. Uh, even Angus and Ajaso, we, sh we should do well against them. And then after that, we've got four games left of the season. There's some tough games there. So it's, it's going to be hard. If we win the next four games, that will get us a bit closer to the playoffs, I think. 
Um, but we'll see. We're 10 points behind 6th place Clement. Uh, Wara are doing well this season. So we're not exactly going to assume we're going to beat them. But anyway, that's that. Um, been an entertaining episode. I'm sorry you didn't get to see the Nins game live. It was a great game. I was very happy when we got that late winner. I literally jumped out of my seat. Um, but you did get to see it. But hopefully we'll have another game like that. And you'll get to see me get all excited and jump out and see again. But yeah, on that note, uh, thank you as always to everyone who's been following, subscribing, liking videos, commenting. If you haven't already, please do one of them. It does go a long way uh, helping me get more people watching me. So yeah, so enjoy the rest of your day and I'll be back soon. Bye.